today's video, I am going to show you how to remove and replace an outer tie rod end. Tools that you're going to need for this job. It's just a little tie rod removing tool. Um, you can actually, you don't even have to buy this. Um, you can rent this from like an O'Reilly's or something. Then obviously like a socket that fits the end of it, right? Um, and a ratchet, obviously, and a socket that fits the nut at the bottom of your tie rod end. Mine just happens to be a 17. Um, a little anti -seize. And then um, a wrench that is the size of the adjusting nut that is at the end of your tie rod end. Actually, it's not part of it. It's like, you know, it's the one that butts up to it. Yeah, okay. Um, if you are going to replace the boot, then I recommend that you obviously have a flathead screwdriver, um, a marker, and you'll see how I use that in the video. Um, these guys, just remove a little spring clamp. Optional things are tools to remove your wheel. Um, if you want to remove your wheel, I do in this video just to sort of make it easier to film, but you don't have to. In fact, I did the other side without removing the wheel at all. Uh, it was a lot easier and faster. Also, you may need a hammer, especially if you live somewhere like maybe on the East Coast or up North where they salt the roads. Sometimes it can be difficult to remove seized tie rods. Um, and you're going to need to smack the side of it, not the rod itself, but like the side of where it mounts to on your knuckle with a, um, hammer. So, and then also a gloves, PPE, but duh, oops, not that. Okay. Actually, maybe that, maybe you'll need that to cut the boot off if you don't want to save it like I did. Okay, so I'm underneath the car, and here is the outer tie rod end that I'm going to be removing and replacing today. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do before I jack up the vehicle and put it on jack stands is loosen this nut and back it off just a hair. Okay, now it's loose, but I'm actually just gonna like snug it right back up. Not like super tight, but um, we don't wanna lose the position of, um, of where the tie rod is at, because this can be threaded in or out. That's actually how part of your alignment is done. And I'm gonna actually get a professional alignment when I'm done with this job, but I have to drive there. So to like reduce the wear on my beautiful brand new tires, um, I'm going to do my best to just keep this in place where it was um, after my last alignment. Also, before I lift my car up, I'm going to loosen my lug nuts, of course, um, because having the wheel out of the way is going to make this a lot easier. And um, also, once the car is up off the ground, it's really hard to loosen. Yeah, okay. going to remove this nut, which for me is a 19 millimeter. Yeah. Then I'm going to use this sweet little tool here to pop it off, because uh, you can't actually just pull it out. It doesn't really work like that. Um, and if you don't own this tool, no big deal. Um, you can actually rent this tool from... O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Napa, I don't know, pretty much wherever, oops, and um, there we go, I like this tool because it doesn't cause any damage, or at least it shouldn't cause any damage, although mine actually, you can see my boot has a little bit of splitting there, 
Um, but in theory, it shouldn't cause any damage to the tie rod end or the boot. So we'll see how that goes. And that's it. And now it's out. <laughs> it's my old Loctite. Um, and you can see, oh, actually, my boot is in pretty good shape. There's like a little splitting up here, but my, uh, my tie rod end is actually in really good shape. Um, the reason why I'm removing this actually today is to, um, to remove my, uh, my inner tie rod um, dust cover or boot. I just want to, oops, you saw that I was, oh no, <laughs> be really careful, you don't want to spin this, obviously I know where mine was, but you don't want to spin that too much because that throws off our alignment, um, but while I've got this guy out, I can also sort of like feel, I can sort of pull in and out on this and sort of move it around and see if I feel any um, unwanted motion on that inner tie rod. Now, what you don't want is like a ton of slop and looseness, which this actually doesn't have. It's pretty tight. If I like put it in a position, it kind of holds it into place. Um, and I don't feel any in and out movement at all. So this is just like a good test of that inner tie rod as well. So this is where it was. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do my best to leave the nut there. But just in case I accidentally like move it again, which I kind of already did. I'm just going to count how many rotations it takes to get this tie rod off. So here we go. One, two, three, 17, eight, ah, about 18 um, full rotations. I'm just going to write that down in case I decide to go to lunch and come back later and I forget. <laughs> okay, so now if you just had a bad tie rod end, um, all that you would do at this point is put a new one on and of course count the amount of times that you like, you know, spin it one full revolution before tightening it back up and then go get an alignment. However, that's not what I'm going to do, right? Because my tie rod end is fine. I, of course, am... Like my sole purpose for doing this is to um, remove and replace this boot because my transmission leaked for a while and the gear oil on there just destroyed it. Um, and I am going to get an alignment for other reasons. You can actually kind of see. Let me just show you. Let's move this up a little bit. Eek. Yeah, it's gnarly. Why? Ew. It's all torn and stuff. And yeah, look at that. And we don't want a bunch of crap getting in there. Um, so I'm going to get an alignment anyway, since I did a bunch of suspension work. So now is the time for me to replace this boot. Das boot? German. <laughs> okay, and I just got this from Parts Place, and it was so cheap. I am going to have to take off this nut, so I'm just going to make a little mark um, right on the back side of the nut. So that when I take off the nut, I know about the general area that it was hanging out in. Check the threads and it looks nice and healthy. Okay. And the new boot, Das Boot, does not come with uh, these guys. So just hold on to you your uh, clamps, if you could even call these clamps. Okay, and for the inner, since we're gonna be replacing this, you can destroy it. Um, however, I'm just gonna keep it as intact as possible. Okay, and you can see what that inner tie rod looks like. It's like a ball and socket sort of setup. While the boot is off, I'm just gonna clean any of the old grease out of this area. And then inside, you can see on the, like, the little tooth 
they're like way far in there, maybe you can see. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some new grease on there before I put the new boot back on. <laughs> I guess they look the same. <laughs> so here's my old one. That's the missing piece there. <laughs> Oh my god, das boot! <laughs> that was a struggle! Okay, and we're gonna secure this inner side of the boot, the inner tie red boot on first. Even though it like stretches a lot, um, it's just a little bit easier to get it on if you have the other one not all the way in place. And this is just a pain in the butt. Especially once you grease it and it's all greasy. <laughs> now we can put this guy in place. So um, you can see the line right here. Actually, let me zoom in so you can see. See the line right there? That's how you know where Das Boot should end. <laughs> Just make sure that sits right there flush on the edge. Okay, you can still see my red mark about where, whoops, that's, <laughs> you can see the red mark on the nut too, so clearly I put that on the wrong way, but it doesn't mean it doesn't really matter. I just like to... Okay, so that's about where the nut was, but of course I'm going to count um, the turns of the new tie rod when I put that on. A little anti-seize just because I don't need a ton of that stuff, that's for sure. There we go, that's on now. One, two, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, and actually, okay, so that's 18. And my nut was like a little bit off, so it's so good that I counted. Of course, I just, um, you know, I did, I did my best with having to, um, you know, remove the nut to get to that boot. And just like everything, you don't want to over tighten it. Um, I'm not sure exactly of the torque spec, but pretty much like once it stops, just like snug it up a little bit. Um, the This is a, a new nut, actually. This is a whole new one. When I went to find the boo, I realized that I had a new tie rod. I'm just like, what the heck? I might as well have the old one as a spare um, and put the new one on because I'm right here. So I put a new one on. But the, um, the new nut is going to come with... Um, some thread locker in there or some nylock rather so it's gonna do a really good job of holding itself in place so just like until it stops and like a little you know push it a little bit further and you know just like use use your own best judgment and of course they're gonna probably undo this again for the alignment but I'm not sure so I'm still gonna make it nice and tight okay so then obviously like the rest is pretty straightforward I'm just gonna put my wheel back on, my lug nuts on, and like a little tight, lower my car down to the ground and torque every single one of my lug nuts on this wheel. Actually, before I do that though, I'm gonna give it like a little mini tape measure alignment. Yeah, cause I've actually, you know, to be honest, y'all, I've never, I've never actually done alignment. I've never worked at a shop that had an alignment machine. So um, I'm just going to kind of do my best, but it's like two days until I can actually have my car aligned and I have a lot of driving to do. So in the meantime, I don't want to destroy my tires. So I'm just going to do a little tape measure alignment. Actually, I'm going to record it anyways in case I want to speed through it and fast forward it like at the end or something.
my tape measure alignment was a little off. <laughs> So anyways, I hope this was helpful to y'all. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and encourage me to make more videos about my lovely little car. And, and I will. You know what? Even if you hate it, I probably will anyways, just because I enjoy it. So anyways, have a good day, guys. Bye. Oh my God. I apologize in advance for the background noise as soon as I started filming. Uh, my neighbors decided it would be a good idea to start chopping down trees and stump grinding, so yay! But I don't have all day, so I'm just gonna move forward with the video.